What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll discuss how to connect external microphone to your smartphone. So I do have a couple of mics with me. Um, these are the external mics that I have with me and I'm gonna connect in my uh, Samsung smartphone. So let me set up my uh, devices and I'll walk you through how you can do that. So this is the setup I have. I have a couple of mics with me. This one is a lavalier mic and this one is a stereo mic. Both are the external mics that you can actually uh, attach to your devices which can be your SLR camera, it can be your GoPro, it can be your smartphone. However, the only place to connect the mic onto your smartphone is the headphone jack. This is because the headphone jack on your smartphone actually combines of your headphone as well as your microphone port. So let's try to see what happens when we connect our external mic to our smartphone and for that to show you the, um, the progress, I'll, I'll actually uh, start my voice recorder application. And first I'm gonna connect my lovelier mic to my phone. And let's record the audio. And let, I'm gonna give some tap to my microphone. You see no audio is being recorded. But when I give some tap to my mic which is on my smartphone, let's see what happens. You see there are a lot of bumps. So that means the audio being recorded to my smartphone is actually from my default mic which is on my on my smartphone and not from the uh, lovely mic which I have actually connected to my smartphone. And now let's try to see what happens when I connect my other stereo external mic to my smartphone. And now I'm gonna start the audio recording. So I'm gonna give some taps to my uh, microphone. nothing much but when I give some taps to my uh, smartphone default mic let's see what happens you see the audio being recorded to the smartphone is actually from the default mic which is inside the smartphone and not from the external mic so the reason that the audio is not recorded in your smartphone is, is actually because the phone thinks that you have actually connected your external headphone and not the microphone and also as you can see it's actually a TRS jack. As we discussed in our previous video, the link for which you can actually find in the description, this is a TRS jack. It's not a TRRS connection. And to be able to record audio on your external mic, you actually need a TRRS connection. So what you need to do, you actually need a 3.5mm audio jack splitter that splits the TRRS connection into two separate headphone as well as microphone ports. I do have one with me right now, it looks something like that. As you can see, it's a TRRS connection that will go inside the phone and it splits the connection into two parts. The pink one is the, is the microphone and the green one is the headphone. So uh, what you need to do, you actually need to connect the TRRS connection inside your phone and you need to put your external microphone into the pink shack. And now let's see how the audio is recorded to the uh, video recorder. The phone also lets you know external microphone will be used for audio recording. So let's uh, start the recording and, uh, and see what happens when we record the audio. So let's try to rub the uh, default microphone port. And as you can see there is no bump from the microphone. But what happens when I try to get some uh, taps onto the external microphone? You see the bump in the audio recording is actually through the external microphone. And let's see what happens uh, when we connect the ex external stereo microphone to the audio jack splitter. Let's see how the audio will be. I'm gonna give some tap on onto the external microphone. You see the bump is actually because of the external microphone. And there's no change when I give some tap onto the default microphone which is inside the, inside the phone. So in short, if you are looking to uh, connect your external microphone to your phone, you actually need this 3.5mm audio jack splitter, which you can easily find on eBay or Amazon for as cheap as like $3. But do make sure before purchasing that the audio jack of the 3.5mm splitter is a TRRS connection. Otherwise, it won't work. And this concludes our video. I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you and if it was, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more cool videos on the same stuff. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.